Hello everyone, this is August, and guess what that means? This is two years since I've had my electric XP 2.0. Now, basically, this is kind of a two-year review on the bike, but more of a uh, commentary, how well do these bikes age? Well, let me tell you from my personal experience with my electric. I ride the bike practically every day. Now, I do not put massive miles on it every day. I did not buy the bike for that purpose. I bought it for very, you know, easy, convenient commutes to save gas. So anywhere I need to really get to can be done easily within a three mile round trip. So my bike's got about 500 miles on it. But let me tell you, I have not had any actual substantial problems with my electric whatsoever, except for normal wear and tear items and we all know what the normal wear and tear items are your cables your brake pads having to do adjustments on your brakes adjustments down on your rear derailleur uh keeping your chain lubricated and clean that's really important i, I cannot stress how important uh your drive train is based on the performance and the care you put into your chain you know, if your chain is uh, dirty or you have, uh, if you even get some, uh, like a link that gets kind of bent there. See, I got a little bit of grease there on my finger, but I actually use a uh, ceramic wax lube on my chain now. And it's got everything locked in really nice. I do have one of those uh, hand chain cleaners where you put the chain in there, you close it in, you put some of the degreaser in there and you turn it through. Those work really well too. Um, only other issue I did have with electric a few months back was my controller unit. Controller unit, of course, is in, inside right here in this part of the case. Um, it actually kind of started cutting out and electric was, was good enough of course, the bike was within the warranty period. They sent me a new controller for it. Now, when I went to take the old controller out, I pulled everything out, all the wiring. And upon looking at all the wiring, I could tell that during the factory install of the bike, there was some issues with the wiring and the connectors on the wiring, which there was very, very obvious evidence of some heat occurrence on the wiring that had taken place because of the like really poor quality connectors that were done on what I would assume were the main uh, wire connectors that run to your power cable back here to your motor. Now, all, all I did is I put new connectors on there and put some uh, electrical tape around the connectors to insulate them, and I have not had a problem with it since. Front tire is still the uh, same original uh, tire that I put on it, the CST Big Boat 20 by 3. I mean, the treads, uh, come on over here. I The tread on that is still in really good condition. But I do have to say, uh, if you take care of your bike, you keep it indoors, these bikes age very, very, very well. <clears throat> I do not ride my bike in adverse weather conditions. These bikes are not designed for adverse weather conditions. What I mean, going out riding in the pouring down rain. <coughs> oh, cat hair floating around. Or uh, completely saturated roads where your bike's getting inundated with water. I mean, if you're caught in a, in a downpour or something like that, you know, the bike's going to be okay. But if you're out there continuously riding in wet, wet conditions, you're going to end up having problems with your equipment. This equipment might be water resistant. It is not waterproof, okay? Water resistant. It can handle a little bit of splashes, not complete inundation with water and, and downpours of rain. So don't make that mistake. I know some people will claim, oh, they can do it, no problems. You know, that's fine if you have the money and everything you want to put into it. But yeah, as far as aging, pretty good. Yeah, I would definitely advocate for the electric. I mean, it's affordable. It's worked good for me. I have all the up upgrades done to my bike on my own. I paid for it out of my own pocket. You know, my bike is equivalent to a, a X, an XP 3.0 with the exception of I don't have full-blown hydraulic brakes. <clears throat> I got cable actuated uh, hydraulic brakes on the front and back. But honestly, my personal experience, your mechanical, uh, regular mechanical brakes, I really think work just as well. 
So don't be inclined to spend a bunch of extra money for this stuff. If you are gonna do a brake upgrade, I would highly recommend getting your rotors upgraded to 180 millimeter. I upgraded my front rotor to 180 degree millimeter since the front wheel really handles a big majority of the braking anyways. Oh, the back motorcycle tire. Look how this thing's doing. Look at that. That's almost 500 miles on that tire and it is, I mean, nothing at all. Hardly anywhere. <clears throat> and I've had what I think may have been one leak on the front wheel. I remember I was going out for a ride one day and I noticed a wet spot up here on the top of the tread, like something fizzling out. Well, that was flat out fizzling out and I apparently it hit something like a small shard of glass. Never had a problem with the tire since. Did not replace the tube. I keep the tires aired up with the right air pressure. I run, a, well, 30 PSI per tire. I run the back tire at 30 PSI. I run the front tire at about 28 PSI. But other than that, Go ahead and get out for a ride, and we'll chat a little bit more about uh, how the bike feels in riding and operation two years into the ball game, guys. So, be back shortly. Okay, guys. So, yeah. Two years with Fletrick. How well is the bike age? How's the bike run? Honestly, the bike performs actually really good for me still I don't have any actual mechanical issues like as far as bearings things getting loose <clears throat> anything like that okay Still got the same battery, 10 amp hour battery. As a matter of fact, see over two years, my battery has just over 40 charges on it. And they're not full cycle charges either. Watch this intersection here, okay. But yeah, the battery, the battery's been flawless, has given me no problems, which, you know, is to be expected for how much these batteries cost, as long as you take care of them, right? <clears throat> but as far as uh, normal wear and tear stuff, which we talked about before, what I'm kind of talking about here is like your front wheel bearings. I've had no problems with anything feeling loose. Crank set bearings, your pedals and whatnot. Everything's good and firm. Headset bearings, which is your, your handlebars, your front fork assembly. No problems there, but I keep my bike clean. And that's really important, especially if you have dust. Oh yeah. And speaking of dust too, don't forget about your suspension forks, especially the stanchion tubes. You wanna keep those, like right here it's dusty. Yeah, you wanna definitely keep your tubes wiped down and clean and use a lubricant for the seal. Around your stanchion tubes, you don't want that dust and dirt getting down in there. Because if it does, well, It'll definitely shorten the life of your uh, front suspension. But yeah, other than that, everything else has been really good on the bike. I'm happy with it. Oh yeah. I would definitely buy a electric e-bike again without any problems. I would definitely suggest them. That's because I'm an owner. You know, I had the experience with the bike firsthand for two years. You know, this is not sponsored, I'm not paid by the company to test or do or say anything at all. So this is my personal testimonial from personal experience. 
So other than that, guys, that's my two-year review of the bike. And how well does it age? Other than that, keep safe out there. Peace.